Agriculture from pre-colonial times had been the mainstay of most African societies. In recent times, despite increased rural urban migration, festivals celebrating agricultural harvest have become an impetus for a return to homeland. These indigenous festivals have become events for reconnection with kids and kings, sustenance of a cherished cultural heritage, a bustling exhibition ground for the showcase of indigenous arts and crafts, and more interestingly, a tourism driver to rural communities. Journeying from the bustling city of Lagos, the Goge Africa crew embarked on a road trip to Kogi State to experience the New Yam Festival, also dubbed Ogidi Day, in the tranquil town of Ogidi Ijumu, located in the heart of Ijumu local government area in Kogi State. Around the community, the buzz of this festival is palpable with preparations ongoing. The lush green venue of the event, blanketed by the overriding presence of the Orunro Mountain, offering a natural backdrop of the scenery, came alive with foot traffic of indigents, tourists, friends, and well-wishers from within and outside the community. Many geared in colorful traditional attires with the most prominent textile, Adire. In a show of reverence and communal solidarity with the traditional ruler seated, indigents and tourists alike take turns to pay obeisance to the traditional ruler. From the economic guilds like the Association of Fashion Designers, barbers and hairdressers, market women and a host of others. More colorful with a multicultural constituent is the train of the renowned Adire print artist, Ambassador Nike Okundai. Draped in a flowing Adire, an exquisitely beaded headgear with her friends, business associates, mentees, and well wishers trailing her. She dances around the arena amidst cheers as she pays respect to the traditional ruler. Hi, the viewers, you're still on to Goge, Africa. We're still reaching out to you from Ogidi, right here in Kogi State. It's the New Year Festival, Kom Ogidi Day celebration. 
and all the traditional rulers are here, the cultural troops are here. In fact, it's, it's, it's almost like an Adire exhibition because we saw different Adire exhibitions make their march past. And of course, we went with Antinike during her march past. So we were there. We were part and parcel of the march past. So I would say sit back, relax, and enjoy the celebration. Okay, so this is that season of the year where certain communities in Africa celebrate the New Yam Festival. Fortunately for us, this time we are in Ogidi, in Kogi State, and we are celebrating the Ogidi Day, like Isaac said, and the New Yam Festival. The New Yam Festival is very significant to every African that understands what the yam crop is all about. Back in the days, our forefathers would use it as a status for wealth. Today, we celebrate it for cultural reasons, for our heritage reason, and for all the beautiful reasons. If you look around today, you see a lot of beautiful people dressed in beautiful attires. This, of course, was given to me, the fabric, by our lovely host, Chief Mrs. Nike Okundae. She is the owner of the Nike Art Gallery. She is also from this very community. And this year, we have come here again with her. I say again because we've been here before and we love this so much and we're happy to come back. So see you on a rebound. <laughs> Igniting the tempo of the arena were cultural performances from the heavily decked dancers from Benin, the melodious performers from Ondo State, the beautiful Olaga maidens, the footwork filled performance melodiously fused with drummings by students of a tertiary institution and ultimately the sonorous songbirds of Aduni and Nefertiti cultural troupe. Each performer transforms the arena giving it an energetic swirl to the admiration of all attendees.
has come to stay is one of the program we the people of Ijumu really emulate very well because it showcases our tradition it unites us together when we are celebrating this festival many of the citizens not only Ogidi but in the whole of Ijumu in the whole of Kogi you see the governor send the representative <laughs> that is where we see uh, one of the old faces that you have not seen for a very long time. They will come home to witness this festival. This festival is so great because it united all of us and it takes us back to our ancestors. The way they celebrated several things, not only the new year, we see many Thank masquerades you. and many Thank young you. people they have never seen. Walu. They now, pe, 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 they are now up and they are seeing them right Walu. now. Setting the stage for the high point of the event was the presentation of the new yam to the king. After receiving the yam, he prays over it and declares it fit for consumption. A symbolic approval for the consumption of the harvest proceeds. Present to witness this event were tourists from within and outside Nigeria. Some of the attendees spoke to our team on their experience. Oh well, it's quite colorful, it's quite interesting. Everybody seems to be happy. And this is a very special day for the people of Ogidi. So you can see the spice, the flavor, and the cultural, the cultural outfits. You know, with the Adire, I can tell you that this is an Adire fun fair. And for me, it's fascinating and it's fantastic. And uh, I'm very happy to be sharing with uh, all of you, with uh, the Mamanike entourage, this experience of the Ogidi Day, which is not the first time for us. Uh, I came with my family and we came already in 2016. So it's been eight years uh, that we came for the first time. And uh, we really appreciate uh, all what Mama Nike has done for her hometown, uh, what she has given back, uh, all the hospitality she has, the, her power, her strength. And uh, we are always happy to support uh, her initiative, to support the local culture, the local traditions, which I guess is one of the the most important things for a country to remember your heritage, to preserve your heritage, and I think that uh, the Ogidi Festival is part of it. The traditional arts, we do a lot good in the society because if you watch in our society today, there is a lot of uh, imported Chinese at the race. But with what we're seeing today traditionally, I think if they can do more of it, it will do away with all that so that we can maintain its natural and tradition. I wish the government can help. The way you are promoting it, if they can help us and give you some money to make sure you can broadcast it to the whole world. So this festival will be popular because it's bringing tourism to the village, to Nigeria, and they can use it to promote tourism. 12 years ago you were here, yes. but your effort is what brings people together today. So we thank Goge for bringing themselves to here, but we still need government support. Government functionaries present at the event also shared their thoughts on the festival. I'm here to represent the Director General in person of Mr. Obi Asika to this event. And uh, I will say I have double personality here because I'm a wife of Ogidi for the past 33 years. So I am part of the people that started Ogidi Day and uh, I'm happy that it has gotten to this level. On behalf of the National Council for Arts and Culture, we are happy to be associated you know, with Ogidi Day because festivals is part of our mandate and we are endorsing Ogidi Day through the National Council for Arts and Culture. We are going to collaborate, partner 
with Ogidi Day Festival from now on to be able to bring this festival to the global community. Culture and tourism, as you can say, are like twins. They are actually inseparable. So we cannot promote tourism without culture. Because tourism is not just about exploration of destinations, no. Tourism goes beyond that into our music, our food, our fashion, our way of life. And these are the things we use while promoting a destination. As you can see, this festival has attracted many people from different walks of life in Nigeria, even outside the country. You can see that even the uh, white people were here. Nigerians were here from different parts of the country. So it is one of the ways to promote uh, tourism and also promote our intangible heritage that is going into extinction. Building cultural consciousness in the youths, the CCSA contest was also a side attraction for the energy bustling youthful demography. Some of the contestants spoke to our team. I'm my name Sonaye Apalashane Precious, a native of Iyara Ijumu local government, the, miss, the current Miss Jumu of 2024. As the evening approaches, the appearance of the Rafia draped masquerade, Agbo Lodi, in the arena sparked a frenzy with some scampering for safety while others looked on as the masquerades strolled into the arena. Naturally, I am a, a lover of traditions, especially traditions that unite, that brings cooperation, unity and progress. I go for it. That's number one. And in fact, I have been looking forward to it every year. Last year, to the same thing. This year is the same thing. And of course, the mass courage that comes out even before this gathering, it may interest you to know that they visit my house before they enter the town. And I have always entertained them and welcoming them. The entire Ogidi know me for that one already. So it would be an understatement um, to say uh, that I really express my joy and gratitude to seeing us coming together on this day. And even uh, quoting Jesus, who will tell us that I have not come to condemn the tradition, but I have come to fulfill them. So what are those things that our ancestors value so much? I would have said that in the time of our ancestors who never knew Christianity or Islam, uh, when uh, 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 traditional uh, uh, religion was uh, in existence, they were more united than this. I mean, they were more supportive than this. They were more loving and caring than what we have. But we have only allowed religious bigotry to separate us, to put bias into what we are supposed to be and as a family, as people, to be united. I think we, at the top there, as religious leaders and even political leaders, we have a lot to do to begin to conscientize our people, to begin to enlighten them at various levels that, look, in spite of our tradition, we can coexist and fetch out those values that are daring in the tradition and even also in a religion, either Christianity or Islam. Blending them together, we move forward. Hiking is one experience every tourist visiting Ogidi Ijumu should look forward to. Behind the Nike Art Gallery, located in the Ogidi country home of the Arts Connoisseur, Chief Mrs. Nike Okundai is cited the expansive, ingenious rock, indigenously known as Orunro. Towering and overlooking the community, this massive natural formation, standing like a sentinel, holds a strategic and historic importance to the indigents. At the break of dawn, we set forth, led by the energetic Mamanike, on an adventurous hike to the zenith of the mountain. As we ascend the first layer, we were greeted by life-size cultural pieces. Further hike with increased pulse ushers us to the second and third layer. At this point, we encounter a flatbed surface, 
The surrounding environment is covered by trees and long straw grasses. Dripping in sweats, surrounded by the huge rock, sparse with green vegetation, the panoramic view of the town is the ultimate prize for this over 40 minutes hike through the jagged terrain. Okay, the rocks. 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 I'm loving it. Tell me, what, are, what, what is that particular thing that endears you to Nigeria? I, what First do you of like? all, I love the people. The people? Because they're always oh. smiling, they're always in a good mood. Yeah. Even people who have nothing, they're oh. always smiling, good morning, how are you? In Europe, they always have a sad face. I don't know what to cook today <laughs> yeah. and the supermarkets are full. So that's what I love here, you know, that everybody is satisfied, even if they don't have much. Indeed, the Ogidi Day offered us not only a glimpse of the culture and hospitality of the Ogidi people, but also an experience of its tourism offerings. The most memorable being the hike to the healing mountain. and you're watching Go Gay Africa. The five places that I think for, for local tourism, Ferinwa in Nasarawa, I love that place. I think it's so beautiful. Of course, we have um, uh, Olumoro. And we also have um, Lakwe. Lakwe is a beautiful place, you know. And then within Lagos, there are so many areas where we can visit. One of those places is the National Theatre. Now, the National Theatre is under reconstruction, but one of the things we need to realize about the National Theatre is that the National Theatre in, uh, um, has within its structures some of our great masters. You have Benuwawu around the theatre, you have Fakeye as pillars of the theatre, you have uh, stained glass windows done by Grillo. So there's just so much that that, that theater, National Theatre is an incredible heritage site. And then, of course, Glover Memorial Hall. I run one of the oldest theatres in, in Nigeria, the Glover Memorial Hall. The, built in 1887, its new iteration was built in 1962, and it is the place where uh, all our politicians, they have the Macaulay's, the, the Awolo was, and of course all our um, cultural practitioners, the Ogun days, you know, that, that is where they all got their start. So these are the places where we hope we, you will come and visit. <laughs> 